Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, let's talk about Dunhill. Guys, you're gonna have to get your nose on this one because, oh my God, this stuff is, this was a shocker of a fragrance. Dunhill Icon Racing Blue. I thought that the, the entire bottle itself was gonna be like the cap itself, but this is just a little travel spray or a 30 ml, right? If you get the bigger bottle, it comes just like this here, and the cap itself is a navy blue. This set was launched in 2021 and it's classed as a woody aromatic. The note breakdown for this one here, top notes are gonna be ambroxum, bergamot, and lime, with them being neroli, C notes, uh, cardamom, and coriander, and the base is gonna be ambergris, patchouli, sandalwood, and driftwood. So what do I get from this one here? This opens up with beautiful lime. Lime, bergamot, more lime than anything, but also the warm spices of cardamom and coriander. The cardamom and the coriander just grab you along with that lime. The combination of the three notes, my goodness. Then within a few minutes, that's when the, the neroli, but also the C notes come in, or like this, the aquatic feel, right? It gives it a bit of a salty tinge. The, the neroli itself is a little bit creamy, but the sea notes is a little bit like sea salty, right? So it adds that sea saltiness to it. And then towards the base, you're still gonna get the warmest spices, but it becomes more woody, okay? Woody with a little bit of patchouli. I could swear that there's amber to this one here. Amber is not a note, but I do get a very resinous, warm amber. It's gotta be the combination with the woods, but along with the cardamom and the coriander. This smells a lot like D&G The One. Whether it's the EDT or the EDP, it don't matter. It just has D&G Dolce & Gabbana The One vibe. That amber, the warm spices to it, but it's just a fresher take and a more of a like marine take or a saltier take than the one. It's very versatile, just like the one. I'm putting I'm putting it out on camera right now. You could wear this to school, to work, to going out, like whether it's a club, a date, a lounge, to like a formal setting. I am just putting it out there. The warm spices and that amber feel just add that class to it. Just add that sexy feel, but that classiness to it. This is more of a spring and summer fragrance. The one itself is more fall and winter, but this one here, if you are the one, like a uh, uh, the one wearer, and you, that's like your signature scent, this is your signature scent for the warmer months. The one will just kill you in the summertime, especially on a day like today, because it, it's hot as hell outside. But this will do very well. This will keep you fresh. Longevity off this was good. Six to eight hours. Price tag, this is where, for, like, for the Icon line, it kind of differs, all right? For this bottle itself, this cost me about 25 to $28 Canadian, off frag buy, which you can get it. The official bottle itself, like the 75 or the 100 ml bottle, ranges anywhere from 60 to $70 Canadian. So when you convert that, that's like 48 to $52 USD to like, 65 give or take so in due time it's going to drop but for what i spent on this was worth every red cent this smells of quality dunhill itself they're a cheapy brand for the most part a lot of their fragrances they smell good for what you're paying this smells a lot more expensive, a lot more refined, a lot more well blended than the other Dunhill fragrances out there, except for like their like their luxury or their private line, like the Arabian Desert one or or whatever, their lavender one. I, I don't know what that line is called. I haven't even got my nose on those. I'm sure that they smell better than perhaps this, but this for a Dunhill fragrance smells very refined, very sophisticated. Very well blended. The wife actually likes this one quite a bit. She gets that amber, warm, spicy feel as well. So I think that this is one that you really gotta get your nose on if you can, all right? Sample if you can. I don't know if they have this at like myfragrancesamples.com or DK Boutique, DK Shop. I really don't know. But look around if you can. If you like the one from Dolce Gabbana, I'm pretty positive that you're gonna like this one here. It's just a fresher, 
saltier version than the one. It's sexy, it's classy, and I'm glad that I got myself a bottle. This was, again, worth every red cent. So guys, that is my review of Dunhill Icon Racing Blue. Get on it. For a Dunhill fragrance, super classy, super sexy, super versatile, and I'm surprised that I'm even saying this. But I thought it was a phenomenal fragrance. Guys, that's it. If you like this very video, please leave me one of these. Any other reviews that I've done from this brand, they will all be down in the description box below. If you want to see the smell and rate of this brand that I did it with my dad, check out this corner here. And if you want to see another, let's say, a smell and rate on another cheapy brand, check out that corner there. I thank you for your time. Take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.